the finals game day here at Tokyo uh, National Gymnasium number two in uh, Yoyogi, right up the street from Shibuya. So we've had a great day. Uh, the first game for seventh and eighth place, Korea University uh, won over the University of Sydney. Game number two, which is just, just completed, Tokai University uh, won over Perbanas Institute. Tokai coming in fifth, Perbanas in sixth, and now game three. This will decide the third and fourth place finishers. Radford University versus Ateneo du Manila coming right up. Now, Radford um, yesterday lost to NCCU. 79 to 75, what a great game that was. So they're gonna fight now for a uh, third, possible third place. And Ateneo de Manila uh, lost out to Hakuo of Japan, 73 to 58. And now uh, we've got a great, great matchup by height and by uh, just general overall team spirit. So now you have uh, today's schedule up on the screen. Like I said, Ateneo de Manila from the Philippines versus Radford from the United States. So I hope you're all buckled in. Get ready for some exciting college basketball. I'm DJ John, and uh, we'll uh, take care of game three right now. And here's the tournament uh, placement. And uh, right now, yeah, for uh, the championship, following this, game number four, it's Hakuo University versus NCCU Chinese Taipei. So, like I said, uh, this is going to decide the uh, third place. The winner goes to third place, the loser to fourth place. Radford University, they've been playing some outstanding ball. Uh, they've got height, they've got the shooters, and they've got speed. Um, Ateneo from the Philippines, they are a well-balanced team and uh, they have the height to uh, just kind of balance out uh, the height of Radford. So that's really, really well matched. And uh, we're gonna have an exciting and well matched game. We'll see how it goes. And right now, um, yeah, we've got a great crowd because uh, of course the championship is following this game uh, right about 6 p.m. So hang out with us, we're just getting started. And pretty soon we're going to uh, give you the rosters and the starting lineup, and uh, we'll take care of all the information coming up shortly. So first we're going to uh, do this: the lineup for Ateneo de Manila University from the Philippines. Uh, number one, Kai Balunge. We're keeping an eye out on this guy for sure. Uh, he's one of the uh, playmakers and uh, the hot shooters. He averages 11.7 points and 7.2 rebounds. And so uh, he's good all around. And uh, he's one of the guys we're going to keep an eye out for, for sure. And also, uh, Joseph Obasa is another uh, hot player from uh, the team. He is the center at 205 centimeters. And like I said, they've got several. So balance that very well over Rack University. And I think we're going to give you a little bit of a uh, highlight uh, of number 25, Obasa, Joseph Obasa from Ateneo. And uh, there he is on the screen right now. 206 centimeters. And uh, right now he's in graduate school. Center. And here are some highlights. Quick turnaround uh, layup underneath. Pass it underneath, wide open. And he knows how to work himself around into uh, the lane, into the paint, get open. Almost loses the ball, but regains control and lays it up. And so uh, he's got some uh, quickness, not just size, but also some quickness. So uh, that's an important, gonna be an important factor because Radford is fast. And now let's move on to the Radford Roster, then there you go. And uh, Radford, uh, we're going to keep an eye out on number three, Kenyon Giles. Uh, he's their guard at 180 uh, centimeters, playmaker, and uh, good point average. And he had a game where uh, he had 20 points, and that was versus Notre Dame. So he's a very good shooter, very hot, and we'll give you some highlights off of him as well. But uh, Radford has a well-rounded team. So it's not just uh, two or three guys that are hot, but all of them play a very solid game. So, Kenyon Giles, Giles let's uh, take a look at some of his highlights. Uh, coming in at 181 centimeters, he's a sophomore. So uh, there we go. And an outside shot, three-pointer in. Once he gets out, you gotta watch out for this guy. He can pop it from anywhere. Right on the shot. 
How about that? And he's got good ball control, as you see here. Drives it in, puts it up for two. All right, so uh, yeah, Kenyon Giles, we keep an eye out on him for sure. And now, next up, we'll uh, get into uh, introducing the coaches, and then we'll get into the starting five for each team. So this is it. This is it. The final two uh, games of the tournament. Third and fourth place decided here, and then the finals coming up next. And in the finals will be NCCU, Chinese Taipei versus Hakuo University. And uh, Matthew will be back, and along with uh, our good friend Ken Hamanaka, the assistant coach for the Nagayo Diamond Dolphins, and he'll be back to uh, work with Matthew for the final game. So look forward to that as well. Ken's a great guy, very knowledgeable, gave us a lot of great uh, insight in, as to what's going on with the coaches, especially. So now the coaches are uh, giving some final instructions to their teams. We're about three minutes away from tip-off and uh, Radford doing their uh, ceremonial uh, kind of pumping themselves up before the start of the game. All right, let's introduce the head coaches. That's Tab Baldwin for Ateneo. I'm telling the guys, all right, you got the chops, you got the size, get out there and play a steady game. Maybe that's what he's saying. Tab Baldwin, head coach for Ateneo. And next up, head coach for Radford. And we'll see if we can. There he is. Darius Nichols, head coach for Radford University. So uh, talk to a uh, member from the uh, staff of Radford and he's going, man, it's hot back home, but it is hotter here. You're just not used to the humidity, he says. But uh, they uh, enjoy coming out here. And they're playing some good basketball. Introducing the referees for the semifinal game here. And then we're getting into time to start introducing the starting five. Lights go down, spotlights on. Here we go, folks. And time for the starting five. We're going to start with Ateneo Dumanelli University. Starting five. Number one, Balungay. Number three, Andrew Bungo. Number five, 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 Andrew Bungo. At center, Joseph Mubasa, like the center guy, three to nine, and it's 205 centimeters. Starting lineup for Ateneo. Move into the other side of the court now, starting five for Redford University. Number two, Toyota Wolters. Number two, Christian Walters. Number three, Kenyon Giles. Number five, Josiah Harris, their forward. Number ten, Chandler Turner, another four. And play center, number five, Dontre Pierce at 208 centimeters. He's a senior, and he'll uh, start out at center. And then we've got a special bonus, Ibu Yamazaki, representing. So it looks like he's got some fans here, that's for sure. A special introduction for Ibu Yamazaki. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I hope you are ready for a very tight and exciting game. We'll see how things start out in the first quarter. And just about ready to go for the tip-off. Once again, I was very, very impressed by Ateneo. Uh, they play a good team game. Uh, they didn't lose to Hakuo, but I'm just 
not 100% sure that's going to be a rollover kind of thing for Radford. We'll have to see. Radford comes out to the court. And here comes Ateneo. And we do definitely feel the excitement, the tension, the energy. And the battle begins for third and fourth place. Ladies and gentlemen, WUSB 2023, here we go. Tip off time. And Radford gets the ball. And they're setting up their formation. Looks like the nail with a uh, 3 2 zone. Outside shot off the rim. Atenale gets the rebound. Number five. Jerry Brown brings it down. Passes it to Obasa to uh, it back underneath. Alley oop pass, and he's fouled as he goes, goes up for a layup. So that might be an indication of what Atene Ateneo has in mind. Uh, finding Obasa underneath for an open shot. He was fouled, shot no good. Two shot foul. Hey, I got shooter, I got shooter. Good, first shot. We got points on the board, 1-0 Ateneo. I got shooter, I got shooter. You by yourself, Trey. Second shot. You by yourself, Joe. I got shooter. No, you good. I got shooter. He puts it up off the rim. Rafferty gets the rebound. All right, they're bringing it down. They're bringing it down pretty quick, but all the players are down quickly, so they're set up for their offensive strategy. That's Giles working the ball. Passes it off to Walters. Walters drives in for a layup, and it's good. Getting started. They're both feeling each other out. See what kind of game plan strategy they've got in mind for each other. Obasa at the top of the key. That Brown trying to work the ball. Outside shot, ball short off the rim. Ratchford fast breaking down off the rebound. Alio. Oh! Being quiet, make it for a dunk. And now Antonio brings the ball back. Obasa, jockey for permission. Top of the foul line right now. Bongo tries to work it in. Gets the ball knocked away, but draws a foul. And it's a foul by number three, Giles. And Ateneo will inbound. So it's two fouls so far for Radford. Passes it across court to Obasa, who comes out to the top of the perimeter. Brown trying to work their game plan. Brown with the ball. Trying to find an open man. Feeds it to Obasa underneath. Hook shot. Off the rim. No good. Radford gets the rebound. Radford's got the height to grab a lot of rebounds. And he drives in off the feed. No, no foul. Number five, Jared Brown. Didn't quite make it to the, to the board. And there's a foul call. And that was number five, Jared Brown. And Radford inbounds. Feeds it to Kyle Burns. Passes it to Walters. Top of the key. Off the rim. Doesn't fight the ball in. Had to nail the rebound. Fast break down. Obasa underneath. Shots off the rim. He gets the rebound. Puts it up and he's fouled. Shot misses. 
So Obasa is uh, that's a good key right there because you have to foul him once he gets the ball underneath. First personal foul for Giles, three team fouls, two shot foul. First shot, off the rim. We've seen a lot of this. Very important in a tournament like this. You've got to make your foul shots. Second shot. And that also bounces off the rim. Raptor gets the rebound. Turner is going to work it down. Passes it off to Walters, the playmaker. Turner wide open. Six to three, five to one. Radford seven twelve left in the first quarter. So Ateneo needs to settle down and get some points back on the board before Radford draws too far away. Brown working the ball around and a beautiful three point shot. And that's Balunga, one of the guys that keep an eye on Kai Balunga. Bradford gets it to number 10 Turner. Goes to the baseline but misses the two point shot. Ateneo back now, working it down quickly. Brown controlling the ball. Works the perimeter, perimeter, get it to Lazaro. Three point shot! Oh! And that was number one, Balunga again. 7 5, Ateneo in the lead now. Two point lead, 6.23 left in the quarter. So Ateneo is definitely trying to regain uh, control and they're working right now. Oh! Oh, beautiful shot from Randler. Number 10, Turner sinks it. Eight second Randler. And Randler knocks it out of bounds. Ateneo ball. Substitution, Randler. David Vidor comes in. Ateneo is going to inbound. Bongo does the honor. Passes it to Balunga. Back to Bongo. He's trying to set up the screen to get a man inside. Obasa comes out and sets the screen and then goes back inside. Passes it to Balunga inside and it's stolen by Radford. Fast break down. Number two goes. Oh, and he's fouled, but misses the shot. Walters gets back really, really quickly. That's going to be a key to watch out for. He's a quick, quick player. Second team foul for Antonio. And he sinks the first of two. Redford nine, Antonio seven, 545 left in the first quarter. Second shot. Ten seven Radford as the mayor brings it down. Little pressure at half court from Walters. Passes to Obasa who comes out to the top of the key. Tries to get it into Obasa. Bad pass. Radford steals it. Radford brings it down very quickly. Beautiful shot. Kyle Burns right at the foul line. Ateneo now trying to get something going. Radford is quick offensively and defensively. They get back fast. They cover their man. Block the lanes. Number one, Belugue. Foul shot. Five. Foul line shot. Obasa misses the rebound. And number 16, Lazaro, gets the rebound off the floor, tries to put it up, but he's fouled. Two shot foul. Josh Lazaro taking the shots. First one bounces off the rim. Here we go, dude. Here we go, I got shooters. I got shooters. 
you know, with their shooter, missed foul shots, they could be a lot closer right now than the five-point differential. Second shot, also oh, in and out. Hey, oh, and Rapper takes it out. Atenao retains the position. Rapper 12, Ateneo 7, 4.52 left. Substitution at the nail and Rapper. Jill Chu comes in for at the nail. And Dontre Pierce comes in for Radford. At the nail inbounds under the basket. Passes outside to Jared Brown, the top of the team. Balloon gave the ball. Baseline, Balloon game breaks in. Oh, it is blocked. Rapper ball. Good tight under the basket. Defense by Rapper. They'll get away with it. Radford inbounds. The door inbounds it. Gets it to Burns. Pass goes around the perimeter. Very quick. Keeping the defense very, very busy. Works off the pick. Number two driving in again. Walters. They get the rebound and the two-point shot. 14-7 Radford, four minutes left in the quarter. So Radford's taking a slight lead coming into the uh, end of the first quarter. And it's a shot up. Ooh, nice shot. Andrew Bongo, two points. Pull-up jumper. Baseline shot by Radford, no good. Ball short. Three-point attempt. Oh, six in. Number 11, Kyle Burns. Got a hot hand right now. 17-9, Rafter. That's a nail now. Working the perimeter. Gets it to Chu. Out to the baseline. Oh, and another three-point shot. Popped in. Number three, Andrew Bongo. So both teams are starting to get hot on the three-pointers. Five-point differential with three minutes left in the first quarter. Walters from the top of the key, attempted three-pointer, misses. And now Ateneo brings it back down. Just working it off the perimeter. Obas is taking the break right now. Outside shot for three, off the rim. Bradford bringing it back down. There's a chance to pull away a little bit. Number 11, gets it out to the baseline. Number six, number We've got some uh, substitutions again. Both teams trying to keep their players fresh. And Ateneo will inbound. Nail, working it down. Inside to number 21, Amos, who passes it out. Right at the uh, 10 foot shot mark, two shots, two point shot. Amos sinks it. 17 14, just three points differential now with 220 left in the first quarter. Bradford with a three point attempt. No good. Here's Ateneo coming down again. Trying to work it quickly. They don't want to lose out on their speed uh, against Radford. So they're trying to keep Radford moving as well. Cross court pass to number 13 for a three point attempt off the rim. No good. And number 21 gets the rebound, puts it up, and misses as well. So Walters brings it down off the rebound. Drives in for an attempt to lay up, and it's good! And that was Kenyon Giles, number three, who worked it down and managed a hard layup. Pass out to Bongo, top of the key for Ateneo. Ateneo's moving very well. 
got Solano trying to get it in there for a the foul line, but bounces off the rim. Battle for the ball. Substitutions by Radford. Trevor Rowe throws it in. Gets it to Walters. Rowe. Beautiful shot for the wide open. Number five, Harris for a dunk. Emphatic dunk. 21 14, Radford. One minute left in the first quarter. At the nail. Nails looking still a little bit rough. They're not working their game plan very smoothly. That means uh, Radford is uh, playing some good defense as well. 21 14, seven point lead with 58 seconds left by Radford. Giles brings it down. Thomas Turner. To Walter. Once again, underneath. For a slam dunk. My goodness. And he draws the foul. Wow. One shot. That might have been a foul by Tuano by Tanil. We'll see. All right, one shot. Josiah Harris sinks it, making it 24-14. They're breaking away for a 10-point lead with 45 seconds left in the first quarter. At the nail, would like to come and uh, get a couple points, even a three at the end of the quarter. There's a 10-point deficit right now. You don't want to go into the second quarter with that much of a lead taken by the opponent. Top of the key, Gomez feeds it in. There's a foul. Holding on Walters. And Gio Chu, the center at 203 centimeters, will be taking the two shot foul. Radford taking, uh, making a substitution as well as Ateneo. 26 seconds left in the first quarter. Radford 24, Ateneo 14. Two shot foul coming up. First one good, 24-15. Let's sink another one and try to keep Radford from scoring in the final moments of the first quarter. Second shot coming up. And it's good. 26 seconds. Radford needs to uh, get it down court quickly. They're very good at that. 24 seconds. They have an eight point lead. Gets it to Walters. Work, working the perimeter. Eight seconds. Seven. Passes it to the perimeter. Two. Uh, Oh, in and out for a two-point shot. Gets the rebound, and it falls! Oh, my goodness. Took a couple of rolls around the rim, and it falls in, making it 26 Radford, 16 Ateneo at the end of the first quarter. Wow, so a fast-paced game. Ateneo uh, hasn't quite settled down, uh, missing a lot of opportunities. Uh, Radford is playing a tough, tough inside game, not letting him get away with anything. So we're taking a short break uh, between quarters. Stay with us. It's just getting started. Game number three. This is the uh, game to decide the third place and the fourth place between Radford University and Ateneo. And let's look at some of the uh, leading scores. There's for Radford on top with seven points. Number five. Josiah Harris with six points. Number 10 is Chandler Turner. Number 11, Burns has five. And Walters with four. And for Ateneo, 
Number one, Balunge with six leads the scorers. Number three, Bongo with five. And then uh, Chu and Amos with two each for Ateneo. So Ateneo, good point distribution, but just not enough. Radford is looking strong, both uh, offensively and defensively. And we have a little action going on before right now while uh, Coach Baldwin tries to settle down his team. All right, when you guys come back, let's get some scores. Might be what he's saying. And Radford getting ready to come out on them to the court after uh, having a discussion with Coach Darius Nichols. All right, getting ready to start the second quarter. Radford 26, Ateneo 16. Bringing you exciting WUBS basketball from the Yoyogi National Gymnasium number two, right up the hill from Shibuya Station and the uh, world famous Scramble intersection. We've had a lot of visitors and a lot of uh, attendance here at the gymnasium. We've got a pretty much a, a full house right now. A lot of excitement in the stands. And of course, the final is coming up for first place uh, championship, NCCU versus Hakko University. Ateneo inbounds, here we go, second quarter. And we'll see if they've uh, strategized a little bit for the second quarter, works it in, finds an open man, open baseline shot, three-pointer miss. And Radford, long pass down court. And that was to um, Harris, who misses, uh, or Glock, has his shot blocked. Once again, another three point attempt. Turns the lead to seven. Three left in the quarter. Turner works it in. Walters passes it to Giles, off the rim, at the gets the rebound. If they can score here, they're going to be looking good. Oh, nice pass inside to a wide open Amos. 6.21, Radford calls a timeout. Atenea's got some momentum right now. Cuts the lead down to five with 9.06 left in the first quarter. So we're not seeing anything too different from the first quarter other than Ateneo is now finding a way to get open underneath, get the ball to him for an easy score. Radford is very quick, but once in a while they're trying to force it maybe a little bit too hard underneath. Don't forget for the fourth and final championship game, we will have our special guest with us, the assistant coach for the Nagoya Diamond Dolphins, Ken Hamanaka. What a great guy. And uh, he'll give Matthew some great insights during the game. The championship game coming up next, right after this. Right now, Radford University 26, Ateneo 21, five point lead, 906 left in the first half. And Ateneo still conferring with their head coach, Tab Baldwin. And it's time to get started. Keep coming, working your way back on. And here we go. Ball goes to Walters, the playmaker for Radford. Passes the cross court. Baseline three. Oh. Kyle Burns, number 11, makes it a three pointer from the baseline. All right, that's a nail now. They can't get the momentum up to Radford. They did so well in this first quarter. And uh, working the left side, uh, we're battling underneath. Number 18, Gio Chu, trying to uh, position himself. Not let him have it. 
Rafter back up to an eight point lead with 8.33 left. All right, as Giles work it down. Working the perimeter. Number 10 works the baseline, shoots over the rim. Ateneo gets the rebound, fast break. Oh, nice pass to number 18. We got some nice middle on the left side. Joe Chu. Keeping at the nail within distance. Giles working. Works it down court. Waiting for Rafford to get set up. So, unless they're in a the fast break, they're doing a lot of baseline work. And that's a drive in by number 11, Kyle Burns, but misses the shot. Ateneo brings it down. Oh, beautiful shot underneath to 21, who's wide open. And six in for two points, Mason Amos. Bringing it to a four-point deficit now with seven minutes left in the first quarter. So Ateneo starting to find success with a fast break. The key is to get that man inside with the basket open. Nice block foul by Ateneo. Overpassed by Rockford, as an angle. Substitutions coming in. So Ateneo looks like they've picked up the pace a bit now for the second quarter. They're moving just as quickly as Radford. It's a very, very quick game. Joshua Harris, in, Harris is in for uh, Radford as well as Dontre Pierce. Ateneo inbounds. Jared Brown brings it down. Feeds it to Bongo. Bongo looking for an open man, top of the key. He takes a three-pointer from the top of the key, off the rim. Ateneo regains the rebound after it's punched out. And, oh! Bradford steals the pass. They almost lost it, but they get it back. Three-point attempt off the rim, no good. And Bradford knocks it out at the other ball. So a couple of missed attempts by Radford, keeping Aten Ateneo in the game, 29-25. Six minutes left in the first half. Semi-final game, deciding third and fourth place. And they are definitely, we got a battle on our hands. Ateneo brings it down, a lot of pressure by Walters. Goes to Bongo. Passes out to Sellis. And there's a shot from the perimeter. No good. Shot taken by Balunge. Ateneo regains position. Oh, right off the rim on the three-point attempt by Bongo. And Radford now brings it down. Giles working it. Passes outside. Finds an open man in the perimeter. Number 25 for a three-pointer that misses. Councilberry with the attempt on the three-pointer. Ball knocked out of bounds by Radford. Today on the position. Radford, three-player substitution. Trying to keep the guys fresh. 541 left in the first half. Still a four-point game. Radford 29. At the oh. at the inbound. Wide open is Obasa. Top of the key. Works around the perimeter. Obasa battling inside. Against number five, Harris. And at the nail on the ball. Radford gets it. Now Ratchet brings it down. Walker is back to the game. Playmaker, good pass to number 10. 30. Wow, nice shot. 32 25 Ratchet. Oh. 
at the nail takes a uh, jumper and it's good. Oh, oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. So keeping it a five point game. Again, Radford can uh, try to pull away for the, uh, the first half. Walters trying to drive in. Takes a jump shot. And Radford knocks it out. That's a nail. Gets the ball. Was, uh, Trevor Rowe battling underneath. And Ateneo takes the timeout. 32 Radford, 27 Ateneo, 5 point lead. 440 left in the first half. So Radford not quite able to pull away yet. So we do have a good game on our hands. Battling for the third place. Final game coming up right after this. You don't want to miss it. Let's look at some point leaders for Radford. Number 10, Chandler Turner now with nine points. Number 11, Kyle Burns with eight. Followed by Harris, Josiah Harris. And uh, he's got seven. So those are the top leaders. And for Ateneo, Kalunge with six, Amos with six, and Bongo with five. So very uh, even spread of points for Ateneo. They need somebody to get hot, and uh, that'll make it even further interesting if they can uh, get hot and catch up with Bradford. It's been a long uh, quarter, with just a four or five point difference. So like I said, either really breaking away, or Bradford holding steady with a four or five point lead. And now back to action, 440 left in the first half. Who will be the victor to take the third place trophy? Number five, Jared Brown works it in, brings it down to that nail, feeds it off to Celis. Goes to Balunge. Finds the man, top of the key, wide open. Oh! He's looking for a box out, he misses the layup back. Is he fouled and doesn't get the shot? No. He turns it over. Obasa was wide open and he just tried to jam it into the rim and hit the basket. Ooh, that was a waste. But Ateneo's got the right idea. They're still trying to find that open guy underneath. Three point attempt by Radford, no good. And now Ateneo beats the jam. Let's see if they try to, try to take it in. Number five, loses his defender. Chandler Brown still keeping hot and brings it to a three-point deficit with just under four minutes left. Number 11 takes the perimeter. Oh! Three-point shot. Three points, Kyle Trying to drive in, don't go there. Back out to the perimeter. Number five wide open, and he drives in, trying to draw the foul. Out to the baseline. And steals the ball. That's uh, Walters. He steals the ball, drives it in, feeds it off. Very uh, easy layup with a very nice pass from Walters to Chandler Turner. 37 27, eight point difference now. With three points, three minutes left in the first half. So Ateneo needs to settle down, maybe slow down a bit. He blocks the second turnover. The hurdle. There's a ball. Goes straight to Walters. He drives down by himself for a layup, and he's fouled. Missed the shot, so he should be getting the shot. And that was a foul by Balunge. Both teams making substitutions. And shot missed. He's got a two-shot foul coming up. Trenton Walters, number two. Second shot coming up.
team trying to communicate. And here we go with the second shot. And it falls in. 30 second quarter, first half. And that's a nail down with the ball. 77 is Dominic at the north side. He's in the game. Long shot. Wow. And that was Dante Pierce with the ball. Another substitution. Number 10, Chandler Turner is now back in for Radford. Radford is down. Passes off to Giles. Walker's taking a break. Giles now the playmaker. Oh, almost had an open man underneath, but at the nail knocks it free, and they're bringing it back down. Steals the ball. Right, let's see if somebody can get free underneath the boss up top of the game. Now he's working his way in. He's down past to Obasa, who goes in and has a layup. This is. So Obasa is just a couple of layups, and that's not good. In and out for Radford. Right after two point one. And Azenail takes a timeout. 39 Rafford, Ateneo 29. So they don't want to get any further behind than 10 points, that's for sure. 157 left in the first half. And there's Coach Tab Baldwin. Uh, he's an American coach in the Philippines. He's got a, a good uh, approval record. He led New Zealand to fourth place at the 2002 World Cups. Assistant coaches Sandy Arespa Kachoga, Dean Castiano, Sandra Soriano, and Jean Afabla. So uh, welcome to the team and coaching staff at Ateneo Manila University. Radford quick to get out on the court again. Walker the guard is uh, in the game to uh, be the game player. And then we've got four, four tall guys. All right, here we go. 157 left in the game. Radford with a comfortable 10-point lead. And we'll see if Atenale can get some of that back. Jared Brown works it down. Passes it to Obama. Obasa, he's at the top of the key. Find him, oh, tries to get it to him underneath. Knocked out of bound by Radford. Looks like that's an A.O. position. Possession. Substitution for Ateneo very quick. And Sean Tuano comes in. Replacing Josh Lazaro. Malungay will inbound. For the open man. Oh, passes it right to Walters, who fast breaks in for the layoff. Wow, that was fast. 41-29, 135 left in the game. Sloppy pass, you can't have that. Not with a team like Raptor, it's too fast. Bad pass at Deneo, throws it out of bounds. And that was Sean Tuano who had just come in the game. Raptor brings it in. Gets it to Walters. Very good ball control. Pass the halfway, uh, half court line. Cross court pass. Walters, top of the key, grabs it again, finds an open man inside, grabs it, grabs it by the line. And that's Don Trey Pierce with the slam dunk, 43 29. Athenaeo's got to come back with something. Under one minute left in the first half. Gets it to Balunge out in the rim. And we've got a foul. Uh, 
holding on Trenton Walters. Second foul. <laughs> Coach is saying, hey, get back in there. After the end, they found. Gets it to Brown. Back at the balloon game, takes a three point shot that's off the rim. No good. Radford recovers the rebound. Half time to half time for another basket. Driving it in, trying to draw a foul. Finds an open man. Ateneo steals. Two on one. Gets the layup. That was Espinosa with the open layup. Radford taking a timeout. 43 Radford, 31 Ateneo. Still a 12 point differential with 30 seconds left in the first half. So, as you would expect, the semifinal game battling for third place, a uh, very high quality game. Uh, Radford right now looking pretty good with a 12 point lead with 30 seconds left in the first half. So once again, uh, if Ken was here, he'd be filling us in on uh, what they might be talking about in the locker room during the half break. Ateneo is playing a good game. It could be a lot worse. Strategy to get the open man underneath. It works pretty well, just not often enough. Bradford is just quick. If they're not driving in for a layup, then they uh, shoot it out to the perimeter, where it's usually an open man. And they're sinking enough three points to uh, get a comfortable 12 point lead coming into half time. Once again, we are here at the uh, Yoyogi National Gymnasium number two, right next to Yoyogi Park. You go down one hill and you're in the Harajuku area, and then of course you go down to Shibuya, which is the main station closest to the beautiful gymnasium. And ball inbound to number two, Walters, who brings it down. Double team, but he dribbles out of it, good ball control, passes it off, back to Walters, setting up their final shot. Goes to number three, Giles. Four seconds left in the shot clock, and he sinks the fade away. Fourteen point lead by Radford. And he fouls. Radford fouls at the nail. That's number oh, 10, oh, Chandler Turner. Oh, 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 Zero point nine seconds left. Ateneo has time to get it in, get the shot up, and hope it goes in. Shoot it. Abasa puts it up, and it's no good. And that's it for the first half. Wow. Radford 40, Radford 45, Ateneo 31. And don't go away, we are just getting started. We're going to take a short break and we're going to be back. Halftime um, entertainment and then the rest of the game. Hang out with us, WBS 2023.
exciting college basketball from Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan, World University Basketball Series 2023, brought to you by Sunflow Red. So, this is the game three of the final day of the tournament, and we're uh, battling right now for third place, and the battle is between Radford University of the United States, Ateneo de Manila University of the Philippines, and after the first half, 45 Radford, Ateneo 31. And uh, Radford kind of uh, pulled away at the end of the uh, second quarter. And uh, right now, Turner Burns, the high scorers for Radford, Malunga and Amos for Ateneo. Getting ready to start the second half. Excitement is definitely here. Full arena. Of course, we have uh, a team from Japan in the championship afterwards, Hakua University versus NCCU. Chinese Taipei. So here we go. Second half. Third place semifinal game between Radford from the U.S. and Ateneo from the Philippines. And the ball is in. Walters passes it off to Giles. Works it underneath. Open man. And it's good. Two points. And that's number 21. John Trey Pierce. Finds himself open underneath. Good start for Radford. And at the nail now, Obasa once again at the top of the key. And then he'll look his way in, trying to get open. Out to the perimeter for an open man. Off the rim. Too many uh, attempts at long shots by Nieto with the three-point attempt. Giles now trying to battle inside. Baseline, baseline shot. Ball short. Atenao gets it back quickly. That's uh, number 77, Espinosa will get it in. Now sideline, gets it into Obasa at the top of the key. Bongo try to work the ball around. Gets it to Nieto. Raptor gets the rebound. As Giles brings it in. Passes it to Walters. Works it around the perimeter. Drives in. Ball just off the rim. Attempt at a uh, two-point layup. And that was by Turner. Ateneo. Working the perimeter right now. Walters guarding him. Pick up Obasa. Finds an open man outside on the perimeter. Number one with a three-point attempt that misses wide. Kalunge. Bradford now bringing it down court. 47-31. Bradford with a comfortable lead. Eight minutes left in the quarter. Passes it to Walters who drives in for a layup. Fakes it. Shoots it to the perimeter. Missed three shot and he's fouled. Number five. Josh, Josiah Harris is fouled underneath as he tries to uh, oh, hold oh, the uh, oh, rebound and put it in for a shot. And that was Joseph Obasa with the foul. And now Josiah Harris will take a uh, two shot foul. 203 centimeters. Junior. He's from St. Francis, Brooklyn. First shot. Off the rim. Radford sitting on a comfortable 16 point lead. Eight minutes left in the third quarter. Battling for third place in the tournament, WUSB 2023. Second shot. And that ball's in. Given Radford a 17 point lead. And now Ateneo tries to bring it down court. Espinosa with the ball. Passes it off to Bongo. Still uh, out of perimeter. Top of the key. Drives in. Shoots it out to the perimeter again. Takes up the in the shot clock. Shoot. Puts it up for a three. About to miss it off the rim. Scrambling for the uh, rebound. Still scrambling for it. Ball's rolling around. And Ateneo recovers. Brings it back down court. Eight seconds left in the shot clock. And Radford gets the loose ball. 
Giles brings it down. Drives in, attempted layup, and it's a foul. Number 18, Gio Chu. Got a little bit too physical there. So Radford are doing a good job driving in underneath and drawing the foul. Two shot foul. Number three, Kenyon Giles. First shot, good. Radford has a chance to pull away with this. Midway through the third quarter. Second shot. Bounces hey, off the rim. And we have another foul call. That's the nail ball. They'll bring it in. The Lungay. Underneath the basket. While they uh, wipe the court real quickly. And he'll pass it in to Espinosa. Espinosa now the playmaker for Ateneo. Walters on him. Works it up to Balungue. Passes it to Bongo. Espinosa with the ball. Tries to let And he makes it. Kind of forced it, but it went in for two. 49-33, 6.52 left in the third quarter. And nice steal by Espinosa. Unfortunately, they weren't able to uh, get points off of it. They lost the ball once again for Radford. So Espinosa with a nice steal off Walters. Loose ball. Ateneo gets the rebound. Trying to bring it down quickly before Radford can get set up for a defense. Three point wide open. This is very wide. Radford now trying to bring it down. Slows it down. Walters with the ball over the half court line. Passes it to Giles. Who drives in for a layup. Splits the line. 51 33, 18 point lead by Radford. Damn, this is get something going here. Out to Espinosa, out to Bongo, out to Balinga. Espinosa makes it, switch his way free, puts up a shot at the foul line, and misses off the rim. Radford now bringing it back down. to Turner, but he misses the jump shot. Ateneo bringing it back. Espinosa feeds it to Nieto. No good on the shot. And let's quickly bring it down for a layup. Kenyon Giles. 20 point differential now with five minutes left. So it's right about now. Ateneo's got to get something going. They're taking too many three-point shots and missing. They let uh, Radford get the momentum. Radford are making their shots. And that's not a good thing. Timeout, Ateneo. Yeah, they need to call the timeout. 20-point difference. Radford 53, Ateneo 33. 454 left in the third quarter. Don't go away, stay with us. Game three, battle for third place between Radford of the United States and Ateneo of the Philippines. Don't forget, following this is the final game, the championship between NCCU Chinese Taipei and Hakuo University of Japan. Looking once again at the point leaders with 11 for Radford, and that's uh, number 10, Chandler Turner. Also 11 is number 11, Kyle Burns, and 9 for Giles. And Ateneo still 6-6, six, 5-4-4, six, four, four. good distribution, but no big uh, breakout point getters for Ateneo, and that's one of the problems right now, why they're 20 points behind with 454 left in the third quarter. All right, time up is called, time out. Get back into third quarter action. Battle for third place.
Thanks for joining us wherever you are around the world. Just about five o'clock, eight minutes after five o'clock. A typhoon is headed to western Japan, so we're getting a lot of rain today. Actually, it's a good thing uh, it's been steaming hot here, so uh, it's good to uh, cool it off a bit. All right, we're back. Radford inbounds, gets it to Giles. Josiah Harris is uh, underneath. They get it to Harris at the foul line, drives it for a layup, and it falls in. Good. Oh, Josiah Harris, 203 centimeter forward for Rasmussen. So Radford is playing the big forward game very, very well. And Josiah Harris getting ready for a foul shot. One shot. Off the rim, no good. At the end, gets the rebound. Now they need to bring it down quickly and score some points. Brown brings it down. Finds Amos open at the perimeter. Obasa on the perimeter. Three point shot. Good! They needed that. That was sure. Jowls on here to half court line. Drives it in. Takes the uh, oh. Kenyon Jowls with a two pointer. 57 rack for the Kenyon 36 44 remaining third quarter. So Rathenio just not making enough points, not getting open enough to take advantage. And that was a beautiful pass to Obasa, who uh, banks it in for two points. That was working earlier in the game, and they needed to do a lot more of that. But uh, Rathenio shut it down. So Jowls working it. Getting it to Castleberry, who's now in the game. So he's driving underneath and gets the rebound, but misses the shot. Radford retains possession, losing it in underneath the basket. Substitution for Radford, the real team player. And that's Turner back in, as well as David Vidor. Radford will inbound, 14 on the shot clock, 306 on the game clock, third quarter. And sends it out to the perimeter. Jowls in the box, he's only in the game. Fights off the hook, and he misses the button red. Wow, Radford gets the rebound. Oh, and we have a player down. Uh-oh. Ateneo player, that's Obasa who's down. That's not a good thing for Ateneo, that's for sure. He's not getting up, he's in a lot of pain. I didn't see what happened, maybe he came down wrong. He's holding his shin just below his knee. Hopefully he's okay, but he doesn't seem to be able to get up. Didn't quite see what happened. He seems to be okay, but he was in a lot of pain at one point. So big hand for him. A lot of courage. Good that he's up and able to walk by himself. Now. 
So Gio Chu is in now, number 18, 203 centimeter center for Ateneo. And we hope that Robasa is okay and able to get back in quickly. Jow's in the perimeter, working it. Bradford trying to get a man open. Jow throws up and takes a three point shot from top of the key that misses, falls short. And now here comes Ateneo. Three point shot, open, and the baseline. Gets the rebound, and Gio Chu is up for two points. Nope, that was Mason Amos, sorry about that. And uh, 57 Radford, 40 at the nail. 17 point lead with two minutes left in the third quarter. Oh, Radford drives it in, but just misses the layup. And the nail once again trying to get that open man in the baseline for a three point shot. Looks like that that's going to be good strategy for a while. Trying to pump up some three pointers and get back in the game. Once again, baseline open. And in. If they can keep that up, they've got a strategy shot. 2 1 0 with the three pointer off the baseline. Giles once again finds a man inside, wide open. Great pass. And Chapman Turner pops in for an easy two. Worked himself open underneath. And that was a great pass by Giles. Trying to get a little bit fancy with the pass, but it came off the hands of a Radford player. So now that's a nail. And inbound it underneath their basket. Shoots it out to Gio Chu. Another three point attempt. That will just won't go in. And a foul underneath. And that was Sean Tuano who was fouled in that tip. And it's a two shot foul. Number 10, Sean Tuano. Guard for Ateneo. First shot coming up. Good. Still a 15 point deficit, Rad Radford with 59 and Ateneo with 44. Second shot. Hey, I got shooter. Oh, man, foul. Turn on, Hey, I got shooter. Who got shooter, Chad? Oh, hell no. Oh. I got shooter. How's up, baby? I shot. Short off the rim. Yeah. Ateneo gets the rebound. Foul. Hey. But couldn't make the layup. So it's number 21. Two shot foul. Mason Amos, here we go for a shot. Good. So once again, so important to make those foul shots so they can creep back into the game. It's never too late, still third quarter, one minute left. Second shot, good. 59-46, cut the deficit little by little, 13 points now. And Walters is back, and it brings it down court. Gets the pick off the top of the key, and passes it off. Gets it to number 10, Turner, who's open. Pass inside, nice pass, nice pass for him. Ateneo now driving in, makes the layup, draws the foul. Number 10, Sean Tuano. Radford making a substitution. Two shot foul. 
And Obasa is back in the game. Good news for Ateneo. And uh, it's a hand for Dio, too, who also uh, filled in very well for Obasa. All right, here we go. If he can make these two, they can cut it down to 11 points, 34 seconds left in the third quarter. And we'd have a game on our hands again. First shot bounces off the rim, no good. Rackford is a substitution. And now Rackford's got Walters and Giles both in, the two uh, quick guards. And open in the perimeter, number 11, Kyle Burns takes a shot and saves it for three. Atenale can't let that happen. 64 Rashford, 48 Atenale. Atenale now with the ball. Obasa's three inside. Can't miss him. Shot from the perimeter. Oh, 21 makes the name of six and for three. So Atenale fighting back, three for three. Final shot, no good. And that's it for the third quarter. Radford 64, Ateneo 51, 13 point differential here. We're going into the final quarter. And right now we're in game three today. And this is for the third place finish. And we'll see uh, how the fourth quarter winds up before the championship game. Following this between NCCU and Hakuo. Matthew will uh, be bringing you the game along with uh, his special guest, assistant coach for Nagoya Diamond Dolphins, Ken Hamanaka. So look forward to that. Lots more action, lots more exciting action, and a great game coming up. And a little bit of uh, intermission entertainment going on here. Throwing out some goodies from the court. Yeah, you can hear what's going on uh, audio. A lot of screaming, a lot of excitement. Great crowd. Sunday evening here in Tokyo, right up the hill from Shibuya. So Ateneo played very, very well yesterday against Hakuo. And, uh, but Radford is just dominating. They're making fast breaks, good drives underneath, making the points. Ateneo right now trying to concentrate on making some three-pointers to get back in the game, very important. But there's still a lot of time, a whole quarter left. And a 13-point lead can vanish very quickly. All right, WUBS 2023. Fourth quarter action remaining. Radford, Burns coming in hot now. 14 points, number 11, Kyle Burns. Turner next with 13 points. Number 10, Chandler Turner. So really good uh, distribution of points for Radford. Uh, they're taking turns getting hot. Ateneo now starts off with their uh, ball in their position. Fourth quarter, here we go. Ateneo working the perimeter, trying to find an open man. Takes the drive in, pops it back out. Obasa sets the screen, breaks open. And it's a three-point attempt from 13. Oh! Number 13, Gab Gomez. Makes a three-pointer. Brings it down to a 10-point difference with Rafford 64 at the day of 54. Just into the fourth quarter. Works it underneath. Back an open man. Offensive foul, point no good. Uh, Ateneo gets it back. Good defense by Ateneo. And that's an offensive on Josiah Harris, number five for Ratchford. So Ateneo will inbound now. He gets it to Jared Brown. He's going to work it down court with Walters guarding him. Passes it off to the perimeter. Oh, 
trying to work it out. Find an open man. Back up to the first. Attempts a three-pointer from way out. Gets it blocked a little bit. Raptors bring it in out quickly. Shot from the perimeter, off the rim, no good. Antonio gets the rebound. Jared Brown brings it down. Passes off to Gomez. While Antonio maneuvers to try to get free. Obasa, top of the key. Tries to feed it into Obasa, doesn't quite get the pass, goes out of bounds. Radford with possession. And substitution for Ateneo. Josh Lazaro comes into the game. And Radford now inbounds it, brings it down court. A little bit of pressure at half court. Giles trying to work the ball, gets the pick. Shoots it to Walters, finds an open man out down, out the perimeter, no good on the three-point attempt. Kyle Burns missing the three-pointer. That's a nail now bringing it down. Yeah, they're losing a lot of time without any productivity. They need to get some points. So three pointers would be good, but they're missing the three pointers. Feeds it back to number 21, picks the shot, and he simply beats the He's had several threes. And it's a timeout. Radford now. Radford 64, Ateneo 57. So Ateneo is crawling back with a seven point uh, differential here from uh, Brett Radford. 7.50 left in the game. So they were down double digits at one point, but they're managing to fight back. A couple of three pointers definitely helped. Radford 64, Ateneo 57. Go away. We're just getting, uh, we're not just getting started, but there's still a lot of action to continue, especially the championship game right after this. All right, 7.50 left in the fourth quarter. Battle on to see who's going to come into third place in this tournament, WUBS 2023. So glad to be able to bring this to you two years in a row. All right, so we'll see what head coach Tab Baldwin of Ateneo has in mind for his team. Seven points down with 7.50 left in the fourth quarter. Radford inbounds. Gets it to Giles. Walters. Giles works it inside. Open man, but misses the layup. This could be an opportunity for Ateneo. Works it down court very quickly. Three pointer off the rim. They needed that one. Bradford now bring it down quickly. Trying to find an open end underneath, but no. Ateneo gets back quickly enough. So Walters and Giles working it inside the open man. He slams it in. Dante Pierce. Nine point lead by Arashner now at this point with seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. Ateneo now trying to break free with a couple of three points. Finds an open man in the perimeter. And it's good! Six-point game. Now we have a game again, folks. All right. Radford now trying to slow it down a bit. They're getting man open and underneath him. That's not good for Ateneo. Baseline shot. Radford gets the rebound. Walters now with the ball. Went to the perimeter. Loses the ball. Oh, Radford gets it underneath. But works it back out. 
right on the shot clock. The two for the third. Three for the third. Whoa! Nice save by Rafford. Unbelievable. He jumped out about five feet to get the ball and throw it back in bounds. Number five, Josiah Harris. Great play. He gets the ball down at the baseline. Baseline shot on the clock. No good. Wow, acrobatic play, absolutely, by Josiah Harris as he leaps out of bounds to save it and gets it into his teammate. Six minutes exactly left in the fourth quarter. Ratford 66, Ateneo 60. All right, Ateneo brings it in. This is a key field goal right here. Two or three, they want to get this. As the clock runs down, working the perimeter. Good movement by Ateneo. Somebody trying to break free, wide open. Oh, in and out. Unbelievable. That was Balunge. And Radford loses the ball out of bounds. Ateneo gets it back. They've got to get these points right now, right here. Balunge will throw it inbound. Gets it to Lazaro. Amos tries for a three. Off the rim. Bradford brings it down. Driving in. Into the paint. Bad pass. Azadeo gets it back. They've got to produce with these opportunities. They're just not doing it. That's a big key right there. Why they're down. Six points. Five minutes left. Fourth quarter. Three-point shot attempt. Yeah, off the rim. And that was by Amos. Nope, that shot was by Nieto. And then circle the rim and bounce back out. And a couple of substitutions by both teams. Mason Amos, who uh, was a big point getter this quarter, is uh, taking a break. Obasa back in. All right, Rat Rat Ratford will inbound. Feeds it to Walters. Getting some pressure from uh, Espinosa. Espinosa still on it. Passes it off to Giles. Driving in underneath. Puts it up. Misses. Obasa gets the rebound. Ateneo has had several opportunities to catch up. Nice feed to Obasa. Up to the perimeter for a three point. He should have just put it up for a two. And now Radford bringing it down. Drives in for a two. Great move by Kenyon Jones. Ho! Eight point lead now by Radford with four minutes left. Fourth quarter. Ateneo needs to make a couple of quick threes here to get back in the game. But they're not that good. Oh, nice speed to Obasa. Beautiful back pass from the uh, top of the key. 60 and 62, four minutes left. It's not over yet. Driving it down. Oh, uncontested. You can't do that. Walters with a nice drive right down the paint for two. So every time Ateneo scores, Radford answers. Still an eight-point deficit. Ateneo now working it in, trying to uh, find an open man in the perimeter. Obasa feeds it to number 77. Starts over that pass. On the shot clock, misses the basket. Radford bringing it back quickly again, drives it in. Open man underneath, but bad pass. Ateneo takes it back. Gets it into Balunga underneath, and he lays it up. Great play by Balunga. That was a power shot for sure. Six points again, three minutes left in the game. And we've got a whistle. All right, and it's a foul on Espinosa. Substitution at the nail. Gab Gomez back in. Replacing his forward. Nieto takes a break. 
And Jared Brown comes back in for Ateneo. So Turner will inbound it for Radford. He did the job. Nope, that's the Walter. Drive it in. Wide open. Oh! Oh! Tips it in. Ateneo. Oh, Radford tips it in for two points. Bringing the deficit to eight points again. I just three minutes for in the fourth quarter. Now whatever for Ateneo. Oh! And that's a foul by Radford. Oh, number 34, David Vidor. David Last one, second. Giles back in the game. Turn it out. They're going to break. Jack Gomez will inbound for Ateneo. 2.44 left in the game. Radford 72, Ateneo 64. He's at the Malungay, top of the key. Gomez still trying to work it. Look at that inside. Tries to feed it to Vasa, who loses it, gets it back. But Radford gets the loose ball. Missed opportunity there for sure. Rex Walters bringing it down. He's at the Giles. That's Jared Brown on him. Back pass. Ateneo gets it after a scramble. Crowd is into it now for sure. Ateneo trying to break it inside. Draws it back. So that was Jack Gomez trying to feed it into a little game. It's free underneath. But too much traffic in the day. Chandler Turner now back in. Antonio's position and has a uh, substitution as well. Mason Amos, the hot hand, back in the game. Two minutes. This is crucial. Right here, they need these points. Three point shot. Three man. Off the rim. Don't get the rebound. Radford with the rebound, feeding it to Giles, who brings it down. Gets it to Walters. Harris comes out for a pick. Finds the three man, number 10, drives it in for two. Great move by Chandler Turner. Great to be for a way up to two points. Timeout at Taneo. So this is uh, about it for them. 10 points behind Radford with 138 left in the game. And this is game three today, the fight for third place between Radford of the United States and Ateneo of the Philippines. As you watch some highlights on your screen. Getting into the last minute and a few seconds in this game. Don't forget the championship game following this game between MCCU of Taipei and Hakuo of Japan. So it's great to see these uh, teams be able to come back out to Japan for the WUBS. College University at its energetic and fast-paced best. And we're happy to bring this to you around the world. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. And that's just past 5.30 in the evening here in Tokyo. Once again, the uh, beautiful Yoyogi National Gymnasium, number two. Number one was built for the 1964 Olympics, right up the hill from Shibuya, right next to Yoyogi Park. And a very famous major All right, here we go. Time up. Now, 138 left in the game. Game number three, fight for third place. And here we go. That's Gomez bringing it in for Ateneo. 
three-point attempt after their take. Bounces off the rim. Hold in foul against Radford. And that was a foul against number 21, Dontre Pierce. Nail inbounds it. Trying to get a man open the perimeter for a three. Feeds it to a box underneath, wide open, but misses the two. Oh, they can't do that, they needed that. That was a big factor right there in the result of the game. It looks like 112 left in the game. Still a 10 point deficit. Radford with a comfortable lead with a minute left. Giles loses the ball, tries to save it, going out of bounds. Hey. Athano tries a uh, layup underneath, and there's a foul. Seconds left in the game. Belunge with a two shot foul. They absolutely need these foul shots to be made. And the first one is good. Cut the lead down to nine. So they're either going to try to get the rebound or take the point. Either way, they need to get position if he misses and sink it. And it's good. Cut it down to an eight point lead by Radford with 50 seconds left. Full court press. Okay, they have putting pressure on Radford. The Radford is too quick and the guards are just too good uh, even for a full court press. Walters drives it in, finds another man. No good. And we have a timeout. Nope, Ateneo. Timeout, Ateneo. Rapid 74, Ateneo 66. 38 seconds left. Can they make up eight points in 38 seconds? We shall see. So just before the timeout, that was a traveling call on Raptor to Ateneo. possession. Very, very crucial to get a three here. They might be back in the game. 38 seconds left. Raptor 74, Ateneo 66. So Coach Baldwin of uh, Ateneo giving some final instructions to his team. Make the shot, press, get the rebound. This is a game time for Ateneo for sure. All right, the audience great. Showing love and support for both teams as they battle for third place on WUBS 2023 tournament. And here we go with the final moments of the game. Ateneo inbound. Jared Brown will take the ball, bring it over to court, over the half court line. Waiting for the very last second before they bring it, bring it into play. Nobody getting open, nobody getting open for that three-pointer. Obasa gets it inside, works it out to the perimeter. 
Number five tries to drive in, but he's fouled. That was Jared Brown trying to drive in for a layup, but he's fouled as he tries to drive it in. 22 seconds left. And number 10, Chandler Turner. That's a real mission last minute substitutions. John Tuano, Balunge, both in the game. Jared Brown shooting the foul shot. Good. 74, 67. Second shot. 22 seconds left. Seven points. It's good. Cutting it down to six. Ateneo makes two quick substitutions once again. Espinosa is back in the game, as well as Lazaro. Ratchford inbounds. Up and they foul him. About the only thing they can do now. Giles is fouled as he bring it in. Okay, that's a uh, technical foul on sportsmanlike conduct. Try to hold him a little bit too long, maybe. Too emphatically. Two foul shots coming up. This could put it over the top. Oh. Ball bounces off the rim. Number three, Giles. One more shot. Could make it a seven point lead with 21 seconds left. And he makes it. 75 Radford after the end of 68. 21.7 seconds left. And that was a technical, so Radford retains possession. So that looks like that's going to be it for this game. All they need is to get an inbound and hold on to the ball. Ateneo will probably try to foul. Not much choice. Passes it off. Once again, a foul. Ateneo trying desperately to stay in the game. 17.4 seconds left. Game three. Winner taking third place. Right now, Radford 75. Ateneo 68. Radford with a seven point lead. Substitution for Ateneo, Jared Brown coming into the game for Ateneo. Radford will inbound. This could be the final inbound. Drags it in. Passes it to a man up and underneath. And number five lays it up. 77-68, nine seconds left. Ateneo still making substitutions. Absolutely not giving up. The right way to play. Five seconds. Final three-point shot attempt. Off the rim. Gets the rebound. Puts it up again. And that's it. Wow, what a game. Game three coming in the third place as a result of this game is Radford University from the United States. Ateneo played a hard, hard game. They tried so hard. Final score, Radford 77, Ateneo 68. And the players are uh, shaking hands, paying respect to each other as should be. Wow. At this point, of course, it's heartbreaking. You know, one team has to lose. Uh, Atadeo was uh, very, very solid, but just couldn't keep up with Radford's speed. Uh, Radford played a very, very good game. The key were the two guards, very quick. Benjamin Walters, number two, and Kenyon Giles, number three. And uh, they were a big factor in keeping the game moving for Radford. And yes, a big hand from the crowd for both teams. Fantastic job by Ateneo. Thanks for coming up from the Philippines.
very, very great to see you here. You can hold your heads up high. Definitely coming in fourth place, WBS 2023 tournament. So, Ateneo, thanks for coming to Japan and showing us your spirit and your courage and a fine, fine game against Radford, who is just too, too hard to beat. And now they're getting a big, they're in, uh, on the court getting a big hand from the audience here. Great show of appreciation for sure. Great to see him come out. Thanks for coming out. Wow. All right, so WUBS 2023, we're getting now into the final game, game number four, the championship. Who's going to take the, the tournament lead and the championship uh, trophy for this tournament, NCCU Chinese Taipei versus Hakuo University. Coming up, Matthew and his special guest, Ken Hamanaka, assistant coach for Nagoya Diamond Dolphins. Stay tuned, don't go away. Championship game coming up. I'm DJ John, thanks for having us. We'll see you next time. Ah!